Hi, everyone. I'm KDU's Tyler Feldman. We are just one day away from Austin FC season opener against Cincinnati FC. Joining me right now, 17-year-old midfielder Owen Wolf. Owen, thanks for joining me. Yeah, of course. Now, for you watching at home, if you're like, Owen Wolf, that name sounds familiar. Well, he's the son of head coach Josh Wolf. Owen, first of all, one day away from the first game of the season. How excited are you and your teammates? Uh, we're all we're all really excited, and you can see that in the energy and the intensity we've been bringing to all the trainings throughout the preseason. And I feel that we're we're all ready for the season to start as well. Now, for you, what's the preseason been like? A lot of friendlies, a lot of work, but for you, one of the younger members, if not the youngest member on the club, what's it been like for you? Um, it's been good. Uh, we spent our preseason here in Austin, and it's been good. Like I said, the intensity and the energy has been really good. And it's been it's been nice to get a couple games in as well, just to see where we're at as a team and the things that we can work on and things that we've been doing better. So speaking of areas in which you guys can work on and get better, what's the strategy been like this week in preparation for Cincinnati FC? What are some of the keys to Saturday night's match? Um, yeah, uh, defensively, we've been working on getting compact and organized and really hard to break through as a team. And then offensively, we have our ways of getting in around the goal and having quality chances and opportunities to score. Back in September, you were signed as Major League Soccer's homegrown player through 2025 with a one-year option with Austin FC. What was that moment like for you when you heard that news? It meant a lot to me. I was, I was really excited because I've been training with the, with the team for most of that year. And it just meant a lot that I'd be able to come out on the field again, but different because now I'm professionally on the team and I was just really excited. Soccer's in your blood. You grew up with soccer. Your dad obviously played, now coaches. So what was it like for you to share that moment with your dad and the rest of your family? No, of course, my dad, my dad and the rest of my family was really proud and happy and excited for me, of course. And my dad and all of us were just excited. I couldn't, couldn't wait to get started, and I knew it was going to be a grind and a journey, and it was just we were excited to finally start the beginning of my career. When that signing happened back in September, Sporting Director Claudio Reyna said that you deserved this opportunity. But, of course, with your last name being Wolf, I'm sure there's been some conversations about, well, he's getting this shot because his dad is Josh. What would your message be to those people, given all the hard work and sacrifices that you've made to get to this point? No, I'm just really thankful and grateful for the opportunity and the belief that Claudia has given me. And I'm just looking forward to keep on developing on and off the field. And I hope that I can continue to be a, um, a role model and an example for our academy guys. Just keep focusing on getting better and earning my minutes with the team. Okay, and for those who don't know, Major League Soccer's homegrown player classification is a status for certain players who have participated in a club's player development program. Now, this comes with several benefits, including automatic protection and expansion drafts up until the age of 25. So what has your journey been like, not only to go through the development program, but to train, get signed, and then up until this point, being one of the younger guys within the club? Um, it, was, it was a little bit of a change, you know, being one of the older guys as well with the academy and coming here and being the young guy. Um, but it's been good because I've been able to experience a lot of different things with the academy and also with the first team, seeing what it's like at a professional level. Now, I think a lot of fans want to know what it's like playing for your dad. <laughs> Is it tough love? Is, are there some good moments and bad moments? There's always, there's always a, a mix, you know, I feel like. Just like with anything that anyone does, there's always going to be a mix of emotions and, and things being said, but that's it. Nothing much. I've chatted with your dad quite a bit. Great guy, good personality, but I think as a head coach in any professional sports league, you have to know when to open doors and close doors with the media. How would you best describe your dad as one of his sons? I love him. You know, I love my dad. It's his birthday today. Had to wish him happy birthday oh. this morning. So, so it was good. We started the day off good. I saw him. I don't see him much in the morning, but saw him earlier today. So gave him a good tunnel today at training. It was good. 
But we'll all give Josh a virtual happy birthday shout out today. Special <laughs> day for Josh Wolf. Hopefully you guys can get a win uh, mm -hmm. tomorrow night in celebration. How would you compare your game, though, to your dad's? Of course, growing up, watching him, living with him. I'm sure there's some similarities. What have you learned from your dad's game that you apply to your game? Mm, I feel like he was always a very fast thinker when the game came to him. Like, he was always thinking. He always knew what was around him. He was very aware. I feel like I, I can implement that into my game as well, and I do a little bit. But that's where I see him. He, he was fast, I heard. I would watch some clips of him. He was he was fast, and he was more of a forward than than me. I'm probably more of a midfielder, and he's a forward. But there's still elements in his game that I can put in mine. What are some takeaways that he's told you, or messages throughout your life that you apply to not only the sport of soccer but also just daily living as a professional athlete? Yeah, every time, every time I do anything, I just try and be the be the best that I can. And it's always, it's always a competition, and you just try and be the best. Uh, speaking of competitions, he told me that he likes to golf with you guys when it's not soccer. <laughs> I'm sure it gets pretty competitive, but who's the best golfer? <laughs> yeah, it does, especially, especially my older brother. We, we used to golf all the time together when it was us three. I have a younger brother as well. He'll come sometimes. But it does get really competitive. I mean, there's been, there's been a couple of – couple angry people out on the golf course <laughs> but yeah I mean it's always fun to get a little competitive game going who have been and not to switch gears here but who have been some of the more experienced veteran guys on the team that have helped you in your journey as a younger player on the team get acclimated to the professional world from a major league soccer standpoint but also just how to deal with everything that comes with that yeah, um, one of the veterans that I feel, well, a couple of them, I feel Alex has really helped me come through as a younger player and adapt to this environment. Um, Hector Jimenez, he's been really good as well. We've known him since Columbus as well, so it was good good to see him. Um, Brad Stuber is another another one that's helped me as well. Mm, I mean, there's so many. Beasler, when he was here last year, he would help. Um yeah, there's a lot of guys. I mean, Sebastian Drew, is another one. He helps. There's so many. I mean, all these guys are older than me, so I just take in their information they give me and, and just listen to them. Everyone, that is Owen Wolf, 17-year-old midfielder for Austin FC. The Verde and Black open their second season, 5 p.m. Saturday against Cincinnati FC at Q2 Stadium. Owen, thank you so much for the time. I guess last question is how excited are you to see all the fans. It's going to be a little cold, but I'm sure the fans are going to come out in full force. Yeah, no, the, fan, the fans have been amazing. I mean, even like, especially in the Atlas game, I felt the atmosphere. I felt the fans. It was great. I hope to see them back out there again tomorrow, even though it's going to be a little cold, but I hope to see them out there. I'm pretty sure that Atlas supporter group that we saw at Q2 Stadium last week will be replicated. No doubt about that. Yeah. All right, guys, that is Owen Wolf. I'm Tyler Feld, but again, 5 p.m. Saturday, Austin FC, Cincinnati FC. It should be a fun one at Q2 Stadium.